I'm filming a video. Hello my friends and welcome back to another YouTube video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my swim bag. But not all that's in my swim bag because all my swim stuff can't really fit inside my swim bag. My camera is about to die. We love that. But anyways, let's just get into this video. Okay, so first things first, let's start off with my swimsuits. So this is not all of my swimsuits because some of them are in my bathroom, which we are going to go into later. But these are the ones I really don't wear. So first things first, this is my modified swimsuit. When I used to swim modified in 7th and 8th grade. It's just black. Nothing's on it. It's kind of stretched out and I don't really wear it anymore except for drag and drag is when you like layer two swimsuits on top of each other before like a big race and it slows you down so when you take it off like it makes you faster you know there's this one which is a speedo swimsuit I got on Amazon for like $18 because I'm not really about spending $50 on a swimsuit. And it is also stretched out because I wore it a lot for practices and now it's a drag suit. This is my old suit for club and it's like the racing suit that you swim in at meets. And the reason why it's old is because it has this like rip thing here. Yeah, like the material just started like wearing away. So it could rip any second now and I'm not really about that. So I don't wear it anymore. I might wear it for drag but I don't wear it for races. And then this is my favorite suit until it stretched out. It is a Dolphin Uglies and it's the only one that I have that didn't rip on the inside and I'll get into that later. But I just really like this one and it's super stretched out now and I can only wear it for drag. Then there's this Speedo suit that I got at Sierra Trading Post which is like a brand of Marshalls, yeah. And it was like $15 so that was nice but I never wear it because it is tie back so and I just don't really like those. And then there's this swimsuit, which is my first Dolphin Uglies, and there's so many rips on the inside. First of all, Dolphin Uglies are like the most popular practice suit everyone wears them, but I just don't like them because they constantly rip on the inside and it's not really my favorite. So if you can't see, there's like these little streaks on the inside. I tried sewing them together in hopes that that would like fix it, but they just kept appearing and like, not really happy about it. So I don't really wear that one that much. So yeah, I'm just nervous it's gonna rip on the inside and I can't wear it anymore. So I just don't wanna wear it. And then there's this Dolphin Uglies that I got and it also has rips on the inside and I used to wear it a lot, but I really don't anymore. I forget, it might be a little stretched out, but I, I don't wear it anymore. And then there's this one which is still brand new and I ordered on Amazon because like I just stock up on swimsuits that are cheap on Amazon. This was like probably $18. Yeah, I haven't worn it yet. It is a Speedo Flyback. Yeah. I usually cycle through like two swimsuits until they're all stretched out and then I go on to some new ones. Now we're gonna get into the ones that I do wear and my equipment. But before we get into that, I have a bunch of t-shirts. I have three for swimming, like, duh, swimming. This entire video is about swimming. My knees hurt. I've been sitting on my knees this entire time. But I have three for school swimming, one for club swimming, and then two from like meets that I've gone to. Oh yeah, and then I also have a jacket which is in my what I got for Christmas haul and like it's supposed to be worn on the pool deck so that's where I wear it. Okay, so I'm sitting on my toilet because why not? So this is my swim bag, but it's a Speedo one. Yeah, it's like kind of ombre-ish. Yeah, like it's white and then black and blue. Yeah, so that's cool. And inside of my swim bag is one of my practice suits and also like my racing suit for school because for school they make you buy a suit and then only wear it for like three months and then you don't know what to do with it. So I wear it to practices. And it's a TYR Diamondback, which is personally my favorite suit. They're just like really comfortable for me and yeah, I like them. Yeah, it's kind of almost stretched out now, but I'm wearing it until I can't anymore. So this is my suit for club and it is a Speedo flyback. And then I have my Crocs, which I only wear on the pool deck. So then these are my goggles, sort of. They're like my non-prescription goggles because sometimes I wear prescription goggles since I need like glasses. And I have these ones in here that have a bungee strap and I've tried using it. I just don't really like the bungee strap. So that's why they're at the bottom of my bag and I never wear them. Yeah, but these ones are the strap that comes with the goggles. Yeah, and I tie them together like that because I just like don't like how 
it flops around. And then here are some knockoff Speedo goggles that I got from like TJ Maxx. They're not really that good, so I barely wear them. And then here are a lot of my caps. So this cap is my go-to cap and it says Marlins on it, which is the name of my team. And then this says Saints on it because this is my school cap. There's another Saints one. There's this TIR, T TYR, did I say that? Yeah, here's this cap that I got a while ago and I haven't worn it once because I hate it. So, wasted $10. And then here's a pink cap that we got from uh, Breast Cancer Meat. And then here's another Saints one. And then here's a Marlins one and I never really wear it because it's an old design and I just don't really like it. And then this is my dirt bag which comes with my Speedo bag and you can like put all your wet stuff in here and it keeps the wetness in. So that's nice. And then these are my prescription goggles and they usually come with a black strap but I had this pink and black strap from the goggles that I replaced with the bungee strap. So yeah, I just put them on here and now I have an extra black strap. So I have this black silicone cap. It's like a Speedo one and it was my go-to one before I got the Marlins ones. And the difference between silicone and latex. This is a latex one and this is a silicone one. And as you can tell, they're a little bit different because this one's stuck together and this one isn't. So silicone is a little bit more stretchy and it can't break as easily unless you like really pull hard on it. And then latex is not as stretchy, but it can break easily. I can't do English. And then normally latex caps have like these bands on the bottom. And then these are my other prescription goggles. Um, Yeah, so as you can tell, it has a black strap, which are different from the other ones. And then in the bottom of my bag, in this pocket here, I have an extra swimsuit. I have two black ones for modified. This one isn't as stretched out. This is my backup suit in case I forget one. And then over here, I have all my equipment. So first things first is my kickboard. Yeah, it's Speedo. A lot of my equipment Speedo because we are shop runner and we can get free two-day shipping and also we got some deals there, so yeah. And then this is some laminated sheet that my coach made for like um, all of our times that we should be making during practice and there's special colors assigned to like the times, like blue is fast, red is hard but not too hard, you know? And then over here is my fins, which are the cheap knockoff Speedo brand. There's 40, which is the swim outlet brand and the swim outlet is like some online store where you can get a bunch of swim equipment and suits and all that for pretty cheap. And then here is my other practice suit, which I ordered on Amazon and it was about like $18 like all the other ones are. And it is a TYR Diamondback. It is like a little stretched out too, so these suits are kind of coming to an end. But it has like some like pattern on it. It's like hexagons or whatever. And then this is my mesh bag, which I put all my equipment in. Like it's on the pool deck so it can get wet and it'll dry super quickly. So and this is my pull buoy, which you put in between your legs so you don't kick and like you just pull with your arms. Yeah. And and then these are my paddles and you put them on like this so like you pull with them yeah it's usually when you're using a pull buoy and then lastly here's my snorkel which i don't know how to use but i had to get it so like you just put it over your head like that so you swim like this and then you have this and you breathe anyways that's about it for this video today and i hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for some more wholesome quality comedy content anyways i'll see you guys next time so i really enjoy swimming and i just wanted to expose you guys to that side of me because that's like the only thing i'm actually good at sort of i'm not even that good at it honestly anyways just don't forget to eat your vegetables Thank you.